First, let's understand what an IAT sensor is and its function. The intake air temperature IAT sensor monitors the temperature of the air entering the engine. This information is crucial for estimating air density for the engine control unit ECU. The IAT sensor is a crucial component of the engine management system. By combining the data from the IAT sensor with other engine management system sensors, the ECU calculates the mass of air entering the cylinder and maintains the proper air-fuel ratio. If you want to know all the sensors of the engine management system, you can check our detailed video on car EMS system sensors. Check the link in the corner. Now that we know what the IAT sensor does, let's dive into the symptoms of a bad IAT sensor. Symptom number one, check engine light comes on. While a check engine light can indicate various problems, a malfunctioning IAT sensor is a frequent trigger. This happens because the engine control unit, ECU, detects issues related to the IAT sensor and triggers relevant fault codes. Later in this video, we will discuss OBD2 codes related to a faulty IAT sensor. Symptom number two, poor engine performance. A faulty IAT sensor can lead to incorrect intake air temperature readings, which results in improper fuel-dot-air ratio calculations. This can manifest as rough idle, hesitation, reduced power, sluggish acceleration. Symptoms number three, difficulty starting or stalling. Inaccurate readings from a malfunctioning IAT sensor can make it hard for the engine to start, particularly in cold weather. Additionally, it can cause the engine to stall or die shortly after starting. These symptoms are common with issues in various components of the engine management system. To ensure that the root cause is the IAT sensor, it is necessary to read OBD2 codes and check for specific codes related to a faulty IAT sensor. The codes that are associated with the bad IAT sensor, P0095, P0096, P0097, P0098, P0099, P0110, P0111, P0112, P0113, P0114. You can find our playlist on meaning and how to diagnose trouble codes step by step. The link in the corner. Now that we understand the symptoms of a faulty IAT sensor, let's delve into the causes of a faulty IAT sensor. First, mechanical damage. Physical damage to the sensor or its components can impair its ability to function correctly. This can result from impacts, vibrations, or improper handling during maintenance. Second, dust buildup. Over time, dust deposits can accumulate on the sensor, hindering its ability to measure the temperature of intake air accurately. Third, internal short circuits. Electrical issues within the sensor itself, such as short circuits, can prevent it from sending correct signals to the engine control module. Lastly, electrical issues. Poor connections across electrical connectors, broken wiring, blown fuses, loss of ground, or issues with previously repaired wires can disrupt the connection with the IAT sensor. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above, and the IAT sensor has been checked and found to be in working order but the issue persists, Inspecting other components that influence air-fuel ratio is essential. These components can also cause imbalances in the air-fuel mixture and similar symptoms. First, a faulty mass airflow, MAF. Sensor. The MAF sensor measures the mass of air entering the engine, providing crucial data for calculating the air-fuel ratio. If the sensor malfunctions, it can cause incorrect readings leading to imbalances in the air-fuel mixture. Second, a faulty manifold absolute pressure sensor. The MAP sensor measures the pressure of air entering the engine manifold. This data is essential for calculating the air-fuel ratio. If the sensor malfunctions, it can cause incorrect readings, resulting in imbalances in the air-fuel mixture. Third, faulty fuel injectors. Dirty or clogged fuel injectors can disrupt the fuel spray pattern, causing an improper air-fuel mixture, which can lead to similar symptoms to those caused by a bad IAT sensor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. 
Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.